Hello everyone! So in my previous shoe collection video, which I will link down below, I made you a promise I would show you my boot collection and share with you my top tips for keeping them looking new. So the first pair of boots I have to show you are from Aquatalia, one of my favorite brands because the quality is so excellent, many of them are waterproof, and these boots have lasted me through some torrential rain in Vancouver. The second pair is from the 424 Lord and Taylor brand and those are a really affordable option. I will link the brand down below because they often go on sale and I find the quality is really good for the price. Thirdly is my new Jimmy Choo booties. I'm so in love with these. I have worn these a few times now and I just think the leather on them is so buttery. They're perfect for special occasions. They look lovely with dresses or trousers and I really like the slightly Victorian look of them. Thirdly, I have a pair of boots from an Italian brand called De Mille, which is finally available online now, so I will link it down below because I think they're really unique. The quality and craftsmanship on these is so beautiful. I love the metallic detail, and the block heel keeps them comfortable despite being higher. Next, I have a pair of Todd's booties. I really like the craftsmanship on these as well. They're from the Todd's outlet in Palm Springs, so I got them for a really great deal, around $100. And they have the anti-slip grip underneath, which is great for wet weather. And I love the warm, light cognac color of them. Next up is another really affordable option. These are Aldo's current collection. I love the light taupey gray of these, the gold detailing. They're really well made for the price the perfect everyday boot and they come in a lot of different colors. I find that they're one of the best designs from the Aldo collection this year. Next up I have a pair of Kohans also from the outlet store. I am a little bit disappointed by the quality of these. I feel like the leather has aged quite a bit and the heel has also kind of faded but I love the burgundy color so I will link some options that are similar down below. These little western style booties are from a brand called Duo, which I will mention again in a moment, but I really like the way the front dips down. They're really old now, over five years old, and one of the things I really like about suede is the way it kind of fades and kind of tends to take on a pretty patina, so you can see these have taken on almost a green emerald kind of hue. These booties are from Rag and Bone. They're one of their classic styles in navy. I really like the leg lengthening look of navy paired with denim. My foot does move around in these chunky booties quite a bit though, so that can make them uncomfortable if I wear them for too long, but other than that I love the casual vibe of them. Next up, I have one of my biggest fashion investments ever. These boots are from Ferragamo. They're really old now, and the buttery leather has pretty much molded entirely to my foot. They're really dark chocolate brown color, which I really recommend because it's a little bit softer than black, and I like the way the high block heel and just under the knee cut of them really flatters the leg and allows me to wear them with dresses, just like this next pair, which is from Aquatalia. I purchased these last year. They're also weatherproof. I really love the slight platform. I think they look especially elegant and slim on the leg, so they really look great with a suit dress, and they're the ones that I wear to the office the most. Now, these are the Stuart Weitzman infamous Highland boots. I love these boots. They're so sexy, but if you make sure that you wear it with a longer dress, it can also be office appropriate. The suede on these is buttery, buttery soft. They do slip down the leg a little bit over the the day but overall they're very comfy. Next up for a more affordable over the knee option, these are my Ivanka Trump boots that I purchased last year. Something about the cut of these allows them to really stay up well throughout the day, even better than the Stuart Weitzman. They're really comfortable, the fabric of them is really thin so you don't feel like you overheat in them too much. These exotic crocodile embossed boots are from Duo, which is now known as Ted and Muffy. They have custom calf sizes, which makes them such a great brand to invest in. The quality of them is really excellent. However, I did buy those before I lost my Law School 15, so they're a little bit big. These next ones, also from the same brand, as I said, now they've changed the name to Ted and Muffy, are really pretty suede. These are just the perfect silhouette if you're only going to invest in one pair of boots, I think, because they work with pretty much any outfit. 
So for my first care tip, I'd like to show you how I protected my new Jimmy Choo's. So I used this kiwi spray, which really works very well to repel water. I sprayed it all over the boot very generously. You can see how at first it leaves a wet kind of droplets, which looks really concerning, but then it dries completely clear and really helps if you live in a wet climate to keep your leather looking new and soft. Next, I really recommend that you take care of any suede boots quite gently. You can see I'm using a soft toothbrush here rather than one of those really stiff brushes that they tend to sell in shoe stores because I find that much more gentle. My third and most kind of unusual tip is to use a lint brush to remove any dust, debris, or loose pieces of leather, little tiny specks. It's a really quick and efficient way to clean and rejuvenate your boots for the new season to ensure that you get to keep your boots for many years to come. So if you'd like to see some more care tips, I did a full blog post on my website nouvellepearl.com in the blog section, so I'll make sure to link that down below so you can see and find out all of my tips and tricks. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope that you've enjoyed this little shoe collection series. If you'd like to see more videos on fall style, then make sure you subscribe, and I will see you in my next installment.